Oh man, it's time for another 10 things to draw when you're stuck inside video. But that's comic maker, you aren't stuck inside anymore. You're vaccinated and cautious. You can make like little trips out. See, look, the door is open. Go on, take a step outside. Oh, see, isn't it wonderful? Mmm, gross. Eh, it's comic, wait. Don't you want to socialize and feel the heat of the sun on your back? Hmm, no. I think I'm just gonna stay here, inside, on my couch, in the AC. <laughs> you know, that, that sounds pretty nice, actually. It is kind of hot out here. Can I come in now? Aw, but Banana Man, don't you want to socialize and feel the sun or whatever? I was wrong. I want to be an air-conditioned hermit like you. Please let me in. Hmm, I'm all comfy now. Maybe after this video. It's Comic Maker! Hello everyone, my name is S Comic Maker, and as we are nearing the end of summer, that means it's time for another 10 Things to Draw video. Since I've gotten so much love for this series, I'm excited to be bringing them to you annually. But S Comic Maker, what if I hunger for more after this? Well, Banana Man, if you haven't seen the other videos and you like the prompts from this video, be sure to check out my first 10 Things to Draw videos, which I'll leave in the iCard here. If you combine this video with the other two videos, we now have 30 drawing prompts you can work from. Or you can join my prompt live streams, which I'll talk about later. Oh wow, that is very convenient. Sounds to me like if you're an artist, it would be awesome idea to subscribe to channel. I think you're right about that, Banana Man. Okay, I read the script. Can I come inside now? I'm not done with the video yet. Anyway, let's get on with the drawings. Number one, draw your favorite childhood cartoon character. For this drawing, I had to go with the classic Powerpuff Girls. When I was in elementary school and started focusing on drawing more, I got really into Powerpuff Girls and drew tons of comics of them. Perhaps I'll show them in a future video. But since my sisters and I were three girls and the Powerpuff Girls was a show about three sisters, we each had to pick our own favorite or there would be fighting. So my favorite of the three girls was Blossom. As a kid, I felt more outgoing and loved how strong of a leader Blossom was. She was so cool to me, so it was a no-brainer to draw her here. I really like the pose I drew her in as well. Cute, spunky leader? Check. Number two. Pick an item in your house and draw it with one line. So this one is a bit of a drawing challenge for you guys. Try to draw something using only one line. This means don't pick up your pencil or pen at all. I grabbed this little schnauzer figure that protects my front door and got to work. For this, I sketched at least the silhouette of the figure, but if you want an extra challenge, you can try drawing this without a sketch too. I was not brave enough for that. I think items with textures like this work best because it doesn't look as weird when you're overlapping your pen in places that you need to get to. This one might make your hand cramp a bit, but it's a really good practice in line confidence since you have to go over areas you might not have with your pen or pencil for this challenge. I did mess up and lift my hand like twice off of the drawing, but if that happens to you, just make sure to pick back up where you left off. A cute little one line puppy? Check. Number three, draw some fruit from a photo or real life. This one's pretty straightforward draw some fruit. One of the things you'll end up doing a lot if you go to any art school is drawing a lot of still lifes and beginner classes. For me, it's been a while, so it's always nice to go back to the basics every once in a while. Initially, I was going to set up a still life on my desk with some bananas and apples I have, but there wasn't much room for them and my drawing stuff, so I ended up working with the photo. But I'm glad I did because I ended up picking one with some nice dark lighting. I went into this with some Copic markers, Art Beak markers, and Crayola colored pencils. If there are any supplies that you're curious about for this video, I'll post some affiliate links down in the description. Anyway, I worked pretty small for this one, but I'm glad I did because it ended up taking me a lot longer than I thought it would. Realism takes time, people. But I'm pretty dang happy with how it turns out in the end. Deliciously drawn fruits? Check. Number four. Draw a self-portrait with no line art, only color. This one gets a little weird. I was initially just going to pick an old picture of me, but I have some very weird ones that I very much enjoy, so I went with, and I'm sorry for your eyes here, this one. Aren't I just a precious little baby duck? <clears throat> 
I'm sorry. But too late to turn back now. I definitely should have drawn this larger because doing a traditional portrait with only color was quite the challenge. I obviously can't adjust the size of the marker tips to get finer details and sharpening the colored pencils can only do so much. So it didn't turn out perfect, but it does exist. And that's all I could say about that. Weird me doing weird stuff, I guess? Check. Number five. Draw a plant outside. Okay, hear me out. Despite the intro, I did go outside for this one. See, banana man? <laughs> I'm doing the thing. Anyway, for this prompt, I went and took some photos of some of the flowers and plants in my backyard. First, I was gonna draw this bush, and I know this is a tangent, but I bent down to take a photo, and my dogs walked in front of me to give me kisses, and I stood up and told them to sit, and then I snapped this photo, and oh my goodness, look at them, my heart. Look at Arthur's little squinty eyes and the sun. Oh man, I love my children. But back to the plants. I also took this picture of these very pretty orange flowers. I don't know any names of flowers or plants, so I'm sorry if I'm not giving any names. If you know them, uh, let me know, I guess. I thought that these were really nice, so that's what I'm drawing here. I went with more of a lined look with this one and just filled the background so that the flowers in the foreground stand out more. I like how this one came out. Orange pretty flower thingies? Check. Number six, draw your pet or a pet that you really want. Okay, I know I just gushed about my precious babies, but I've drawn them before on this channel and I also drew precious baby Arthur in the first 10 things to draw video, so I decided to go with a pet that I would want if I didn't have dogs. I've always thought that ferrets are super cute, even though I hear they're kind of stinky, but sometimes it's like cute and fun when they're stinky, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I love the look of them and they just seem so fun and silly. Initially, I wanted to draw this fluffier white ferret, but it looked weird in the drawing, so I redrew the body as more of the classic brown and tan patterned one. I also drew him standing because just look at him, he's so cute. Man, animals are awesome. Let me just look at this guy. He probably has like all the thoughts and also like none of the thoughts. Great animal, 10 out of 10. Cute little guy doing a little thing, check. Number seven, draw yourself or your persona in your favorite summer outfit. Last time I had to draw your favorite outfit if you were going out for a night on the town since most people obviously couldn't go out at the time. So this time I asked you all to draw yourselves in your favorite outfit that you wore this summer. I was expecting shorts, maybe bathing suits for the pool, something cooler to wear in the heat, but nope, most of you all are like me. I'm talking those like comfy indoor clothes. But if you want to see what everyone wore for their summer outfits, be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I'll be showing off all of your artwork. For my outfit, I chose one that I love wearing. It's this really light navy blue dress with this light and thin kimono jacket shawl thing. It's not really a jacket and it's thin enough to feel the breeze through, but it's got these ornate gold patterns on them with like a gold deer and I don't know, I, I really like it. I wear it with these blue strapped flip flops because well, Florida, it's our state wide shoe choice. Seriously, you'll see people wearing them when it's like 30 degrees outside. Then lastly, I wear this beautiful silver and blue necklace that my husband got for me for Christmas last year. Rockin' the summer outfit? Check. Number eight, spin the wheel for a random prompt. I usually pick some kind of random generator for these, but this time I'm going to kind of be adding one of my own. On my Wednesday live streams, we do drawing prompts where my YouTube members submit drawing ideas and we add them to this wheel and we spin it. Whatever it lands on, I draw it along with all of you at home. Then you guys send all of your artwork in and we take a look at it live on stream. It's super, super fun. So I thought it would be cool this time to let you guys spin the wheel yourselves and see what you get on your own. This wheel has a mix of current prompts that haven't been chosen yet and also prompts that we've already done in the past. So I'm excited to see what you get. You already see me drawing something very strange here. So the drawing I got was to draw a blimbo with only one tooth. I'm the one who submitted this drawing idea too. So hmm. what's a blimbo? What does a blimbo want? What does it do? I don't know for sure, but I drew this little buff lemon man thing with like a chiseled Chad look. He's ready for like business or something, or maybe he's ready for you. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made this prompt so that people could interpret it however they want to, so you can either draw a blimbo yourself for this one or spin the wheel and see what you get. A strange little yellow man. Check. 
Number nine, draw from an old photo. For this prompt, you can kind of go wherever you want with it. As long as the photo is from over five years ago, then we can consider it older. Also, you totally don't have to draw from a photo that's personal to you. If you want to draw a rock star from a 70s concert photo or a black and white photo, go for it. You can work from an old photo of your parents or your grandparents too, it's totally up to you. For me, I ended up working from a photo from when I was a kid in the 90s at Disney with my parents. Look Look at me, bright pink hair tie in a bright yellow adult sized poncho that's swallowing my whole tiny child body. I'm a vision of beauty. Although looking at this photo, I don't know why I'm the only one wearing a poncho when nobody else is and it's clearly not raining. Also, how is this face not terrifying me? So many questions to go unanswered. I kind of messed up on the face on this one, but I really like how the poncho came out. A perfect mess of a 90s kid. Check. Lastly, we have number 10. Personify a summer item and create a new character. Since summer is ending soon, I wanted to squeeze out one last themed thing in here before it's over. I mean, summer is my least favorite season because it's so dang hot, but there are lots of fun summer themed things to draw. I love creating characters too, so I was excited to start this one. When you think of summer, what kind of things do you think of? The ocean, ice cream, popsicles, bathing suits, beach towels, sandals, sand castles, bicycles. Gosh, the list can go on. Well, it's time to turn one of those summery things into a character. For me, I went with a summer classic, the beach ball. I wanted to take inspiration from the colors and also the round design. So I tried looking for clothes that could mimic that. A bikini top can obviously work for the shape and be some of the colors of the beach ball, but then I also found these shorts that kind of have different sections, and I thought it would be cool if each section mimicked the ball as well. So I decided to create a volleyball character. Since volleyball Volleyball is a warmer sport, often played on the beach. I decided that she was going to be a beach ball volleyball girl. <laughs> I made her have cute rounded hair poofs and made her a bit more muscular in the arms so you know she can pack a lot of damage when she spikes the ball. Kind of goofed on the line art a bit and her expression is a bit intense but I really like her. A cool beach cutie? Check. And that, my friends, is it for this video. I had so much fun working on this video, just like I did for my other 10 things to draw videos. But if there's something you would like to see me draw or talk about, make sure to leave a comment letting me know. And once again, thank you to everyone who submitted a drawing of themselves in their favorite summer outfits. I always love seeing what you guys make and they all came out looking awesome. I mean, look at these. They're so cool. I plan to continue to do community submission things in the future, so be on the lookout. I might not always be able to include every submission, but I will do my very best. But anyway, as you all know, videos like this are possible because of my amazing banana members and people like you who like, comment on, and share my videos. I appreciate you all stopping by, and I hope that we can draw together again soon. Bye guys. All right, let me just go get Banana Man. Oh. Oh, man. Am I... Am I dead? Mm, no, but you smell good. That's because I was baking outside. Ooh, you're making me hungry. You better not.